Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a one year postpartum body update. I cannot believe that it has been one year since I gave birth to my baby. And I cannot believe the transformation my body has made from pregnancy to now. It's blowing my mind. And yeah, I mean, where do I even begin? So when I gave birth and saw my body, I just kind of accepted that my body was going to be different. And I just accepted that I'm probably not going to look how I did or feel how I did before I had the baby. There were a lot of changes, a lot of shifts that I wasn't expecting. And I didn't think I would shift that much. I just thought this is now my postpartum body. I'll work on it, but it's not going to be the same. I was very very wrong so for example I was breastfeeding and my boobs grew so much and I would thought now this is my new size this is just how they're gonna be I had no idea that they very quickly shrank back I guess as I was exercising and moving even though I was still breastfeeding they pretty much went down in size or actually they fluctuate a lot in size so that is one big thing that I just didn't or I wasn't prepared for was just the changing in sizes I feel like it's still changing right now I'm currently stopping breastfeeding just now I wanted to make it to a year so I'm here I am still pumping a little bit just to relieve the pressure but I think once I'm completely dried up that's going to be another shift in my physical appearance at least that I have no idea what to expect because every woman is different so I'll keep you updated on that one but as for the rest of my body I'd say patience is key the first six months a lot of change happened and especially the first three months I kind of just felt like oh it's never gonna happen but once I got into a routine with Athena and I was more comfortable with handling her and getting into a schedule, surviving pretty much on very little sleep, working around that, prioritizing sleep, as well as exercise and nutrition. Once I got all that down, then I started to really see consistent results. And I wasn't trying to lose weight. I wasn't trying to look a certain way. I was just focusing on the process. So making home meals, getting some movement in every day, especially in the beginning, it wasn't get an intense workout in every day. It was just some kind of movement to get myself back to normal and recovery being key. I had an emergency C-section. So I knew that pushing the boundaries was not a good idea and it would set me back further. So I was very cautious with how I felt, checking in with myself. Am I in too much pain? Is this normal? Is this not normal? Etc. And then I moved forward like that. So after I felt like I fully recovered, I started to go to F45 classes every day. I knew that classes would hold me accountable. And I love how F45 changes the workouts out every day because I get bored. And if I have to write my own workout all the time, I just, I'm only human. I'm just going to skip it or not get a good workout in. So I know that going to classes keeps me accountable and it gives me something concrete and a schedule to follow, which I do well with because I was an athlete and am an athlete. I like order. I like being told this is when you're going to go work out. Just do it and then you're done. So every morning I go, I do it and I'm done. And that has been awesome for me. I still do it. I still do it every day. I started incorporating some running. That's only been in the past month though. I didn't do that all the time. And I've also started incorporating some more heavy lifting. I love lifting and I love focusing on muscle gain rather than weight loss or fat loss. I feel like that just comes when I try to gain muscle. So right now I am in the best shape I've ever been. I actually just got a scan today and I'm at 18% body fat and I have gained I think like 0.5 kgs 
for like a pound no not 0 0.5 kgs like 0 0.2 kgs or and a pound and a half or so of muscle and I decrease a little bit in fat percentage which is just what I wanted right now I feel good which is the most important thing I feel full of energy I am not compromising my meals for anything I still drink I still eat what I want and I I love it that is I always joke with people because they say how do you eat so much and I tell them that's why I work out because I love food so much and it's just true I really do love food and I don't want to have to limit myself in any way so I find working out consistently and just being a little lax on what I eat just keeps me happy and I think that's really one of the most important things in weight loss or physical fitness is to be in a good headspace. I found in the past when I'm really stressed and really focused on what I eat and how many times I'm working out and what I look like, I actually don't look the best. I look worse and I think that's because my cortisol spikes and I hold on to fat. So I think the key to just overall physical fitness is to be in alignment mentally as well which I've been working on a lot in this postpartum journey and it's really working well for me and I feel so proud of myself to get to a space right now where I feel so balanced in my physical and my mental. Obviously I still have bad days, I still sometimes look in the mirror and will nitpick on certain things I don't like but for the most part I don't stand there in the mirror and look at myself and just look at what's wrong. I look at myself and I say, wow, you look good, and I move on. I think that's one of the biggest things, just not focusing so much every single day on what you look like. Focus on the prog the process and how you feel. Focus on just getting up and getting moving every day. And I cook a lot. I've really fallen in love with cooking, so that's helped me a lot, just making home meals that are good, that are tasty, not just let's eat a head of broccoli for dinner that is not good it's not going to fuel me it's not going to satisfy me and it's not that tasty so that's pretty much it i feel very good overall and i can't believe that i'm in better shape now than i was before i was pregnant if you would have told me that was going to happen i i would never have believed you and it really has blown my mind. It's kind of opened all these doors. Like now I think nothing's not possible, you know, have more kids, get back in shape. It just takes work and discipline. And all of which I've kind of build up, built up over the course of my competitive athletic career. And I think in a sense, if you really want it, you can be more disciplined while having a baby because you have to be because you have to be on to it to be able to make time for yourself and to work out and to eat clean you have to be very strict very disciplined and very honest with yourself because it's very easy just to blame things on i don't have enough time i'm too tired i can't do this and that's fine you can be tired and all of that stuff because Trust me, there are days where I just don't know how I'm going to do it. But the truth is, working out every day doesn't take four, five, six, seven hours. It just takes 20, 30, 40 minutes. You don't need to do a lot. You just need to be consistent and enjoy the process. Find something that you love. That's very important. So that's it. That is my one year postpartum. I'll keep you updated on how high progress stopping breastfeeding how that makes me feel mood wise and physically and all the hormone shifts i'm interested this is all new to me it's kind of happening real time i'm just reporting back to you so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this chat and let me know if you have any questions hope you have a good weekend